what if I told you that there was a simple daily act that could secure your place in heaven? A promise so powerful yet so easy that even a child could do it. Today, we'll uncover St. John Bosco's extraordinary guarantee of heaven. A promise that has lasted for 150 years until today. The Miracles and Prophecies of St. John Bosco, a project of America Needs Pharma. I'm your host, Adrian Fonseca. Subscribe for new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In today's episode, we are diving into a remarkable promise made by Don Bosco during a retreat in Bergamo in 1861. A guarantee of heaven that's both profound and beautifully simple. As we explore this incredible story, keep these key themes in mind. The power of simple, consistent prayer the importance of devotion to Mary, the lasting impact of a saint's words on individuals and generations. And a question for you. How might your spiritual life change if you embraced Don Bosco's promise and made this simple prayer a daily habit? And one last thing. Stay tuned to learn how you can join a community dedicated to this powerful prayer tradition. The link is in the description box down below to find out more information but now, on to the story. Alright, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have a special guarantee from St. John Bosco himself that will get you into heaven. And this is so simple, even a child can do it. Even I could do it. We get this information from a priest who had attended that same retreat when he was a young seminarian. He wrote the following letter 30 years later. March 4th, 1891. Very reverend and dear father, I am glad I can bring my little tribute of esteem and grateful affection to Don Bosco's saintly memory by telling you something that may be useful to his fortunate biographer. In 1861, our most reverend Don Bosco preached a spiritual retreat to the Bergamo diocesan seminarians. I was one of them. In one of his sermons, he spoke more or less as follows. On a certain occasion, I was allowed to ask Our Lady for the grace of having several thousand boys with me in heaven. I think he also specified the number, but I can't remember. And the Blessed Virgin granted me the favor. If you wish to be included too, I shall be happy to admit you. The only condition is that for the rest of your life, you must say a Hail Mary every day, possibly at Mass and preferably at the consecration. I don't know what the others made of this proposal, but I accepted it, joyfully, because of the very high esteem that I had then acquired for Don Bosco. As far as I can remember, I have never missed my daily Hail Mary for that intention. However, with the passing of years, a doubt came to my mind, which I once asked Don Bosco to clear up. On January 3rd, 1882, as I was passing through Turin on my way to the Jesuit novitiate at Kerry. I obtained an audience with Don Bosco, who received me very warmly. When I told him I was about to become a Jesuit, he said, I am delighted to hear it. When I learn that someone enters that society, I am as happy as if he were joining the Salesians. Then I said to him, With your permission, I'd like to ask you to clarify a matter I have much at heart. Father, do you remember preaching a spiritual retreat at the Bergamo Seminary? I certainly do. Do you recall telling us of a grace that you asked of Our Lady? I reminded him of his words and of the condition that he had stipulated. Yes, I do. Well, I have always said that Hail Mary and will always say it, but you spoke of thousands of boys. I am afraid I'm no longer one of those lucky ones. Without hesitation, Don Bosco replied, Keep on reciting the Hail Mary, and we shall be together in heaven. After receiving his holy blessing and affectionately kissing his hand, I left with joy and the hope of one day being really with him in heaven. If this can bring glory to God and honor to Don Bosco, I promise that I am ready to confirm it by oath. Your humble servant, Father Stephen Schiani. As we reflect on this incredible promise from Don Bosco, we are reminded of the power of simple, consistent prayer. What if you could join a community dedicated to this powerful tradition, uniting your daily Hail Mary with thousands of others? 
Experience the power of prayer with St. John Bosco. As a monthly promoter, your intentions become part of something bigger. Imagine your daily Hail Mary joined ours in a course of devotion, just as Don Bosco envisioned. Feel the strength of collective prayer as we unite in this simple yet profound practice. Your joys, sorrows, and hopes will be lifted up by our community, creating a spiritual symphony that reaches heaven. Want to be a part of this prayer powerhouse and claim Don Bosco's guarantee? Join our monthly promoter family today and let's storm heaven together inspired by the prayerful example of St. John Bosco. The link is in the description box down below to become a monthly promoter today. Don Bosco's guarantee of heaven through the daily recitation of a Hail Mary is a testament to the power of simple, consistent prayer and deep Marian devotion. This promise made over 150 years ago continues to inspire and guide the faithful today. Here are some key lessons that I'm personally taking away from today's story. One, the importance of simple daily acts of devotion. Two, the power of Marian intercession in our lives. Three, the value of perseverance in our spiritual practices. And four, this guarantee reminds us of other Marian apparitions, such as Our Lady of Fatima, where Mary's intercession and the power of the rosary were emphasized as something that we must do every single day. Can you spare just one Hail Mary? from that rosary every day for Don Bosco's intention? So let us take Don Bosco's words to heart and make this daily Hail Mary a cornerstone of our spiritual lives. May we, like Father Schiani, persevere in this simple practice, trusting in Mary's intercession and Don Bosco's promise. And let us remember the urgency of maintaining a clear conscience, heeding Don Bosco's call to frequent confession. In a world filled with complexity and distraction, this simple guarantee offers us a path to heaven that anyone can follow. It's a beautiful reminder that holiness isn't always about grand gestures, but also small faithful acts done with great love and consistency. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comment section down below, because I try to reply to as many comments as I can, so I'll see you in the comment section. Thank you for joining me today. St. John Bosco, pray for us. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you.